things. Okay, this week in Top Secret, I'm going to play two videos, and then I'm going to show one image. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Okay, this is a cool switch. So we've carried those 808 step switches, um, and then somebody emailed us and said, hey, that company also makes these cool illuminated square switches. Which squ Square switches. Square <laughs> switch. Switch. Switches. Uh, and what's neat is you can see that they got the 12 millimeter um, pins, but then they also have two more LED pins on the side. This is so you can, it's marked negative, and this one's marked positive this is the ts series and so i have it wired up here um and when i press it it has a kind of a nice glow it's kind of a cool white um and i have it wired so the switch obviously turns it on but you can turn on the switch independent uh, the led independently i just have a little resistor here uh to current limit it and uh it's a kind of nice little switch i like the feel of it so we'll be selling these in a pack and then i think the plastic piece can come off so if you want you can even put something underneath or draw if you want to have a labeled button yeah. So it's going to make for a like a low-cost uh, yeah, macro pad. Use a little color printer, print yeah. that stuff. It'll be cool. Nice. Okay. All right, what's this? This is the 3.5-inch HX and FT uh, 480 by 320 TFT screen with capacitive touch. Um, this is one of those uh, funny stories where I, I actually bought these screens like almost 10 years ago, and I forgot about them. Uh, but it's a nice capacitive touch 3.5-inch display. And this is just the breakout. So you can use iSpy. You can use... Uh, pins for 8-bit or uh, SPI mode. And I was like, oh, well, let's make a Featherwing version of this too. So uh, this time I've got the Feather plugged in. Um, I've got a little issue here where this doesn't sit quite flat. So I'm going to fix that in the next revision. But the touch part uh, and the LED display part works great. And what's cool is you saw that this is a multi-touch. So, you know, it can detect multiple fingers at the same time uh, using the i squared c interface for the capacitive touch. So all I got to do is I got to fix this. See, this little part is bumping into the um, chip. I'm going to move this down, and then hopefully this will be ready to put in the, in the store. All right. And then I have one more um, that I'm going to try to pull into the line. It's always dangerous. What? Dangerous. Okay. okay. What is this? This is um, an update to the 2.7-inch uh, e-ink shield. So we had to yeah. redesign the whole thing pretty much from scratch because the e-ink display like changed the length of the... Flex and then it, it comes from a different place, so I have to flip it over. And then, um, so it's got redesigned. I'm doing a lot of redesigns. I'm like 90% done. So some of the tougher ones are left over. Uh, and this is one of the ones that's been out of stock for a very long time, but hopefully I'll be able to wrap it up and uh, get this e-ink shield back in the store. All right, and that's top secret for me. Get back in that vault. <laughs> <laughs>